Hey guys, when you're first learning to code, it's going to be a very daunting thing. It's going to be a very daunting thing to look at and to approach because you're going to see so many languages, so many frameworks, so many libraries, and it, it could feel insurmountable. I, I really understand that. I, I've seen that and experienced that with software development, with 3D animation, with graphic design, any, any field. There's all these different options that you have av have available for you and it could be overwhelming so you see a lot of times people are searching on youtube which language should i learn first should i learn this framework i should learn this framework or that framework one of the reasons people feel this way is because they feel that they have to go into the workforce whether you're a freelancer or whether you get a job they feel that they go they have to go in there knowing everything and you would get that impression because when you look at job requirements for a lot of these jobs they list a hell of a lot of stuff big list of things a lot of times though you got to be careful about what they list in terms of job requirements a lot of times these lists are kind of funny they're written by hr people who don't know anything about coding and uh, they'll list all the hot languages and, and they'll say you got to know all this when in fact you don't you don't yes there are certain basic skills that you have to have but in terms of what you need to know it really depends on the particular employer or depends on the particular job that you are doing so this begs a strategy for learning how to code this begs a strategy and i've i'm teaching this for a while now what you have to do is you first learn your fundamentals universal fundamentals apply to all the programming languages and the basics of the web of course you have to learn about the structure around those fundamentals and then you do little mini projects and do maybe one semi-serious project like a course project then you just got to jump into it and you're going to jump into it meaning you're going to get start getting your first job do a freebie do a stage you have to get in there and do real work because what you're going to discover as a professional developer you're constantly having to learn new things it's just par for the course you might be five ten years twenty years into development and guess what you're gonna to have to learn new things so it's not like learning to uh, I don't know bake chocolate chip cookies where you get the recipe and you just follow and that's it and just keep doing the same thing over and over again no 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 here's a better analogy Here's a better analogy a lot of people think when they get into coding learning to code or being a coder rather is like being in a cover band where you're playing the same songs over and over again playing you know you play your Led Zeppelin tunes you play your Doors you play you know your Beatles and uh, that's it no 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 software development is much more like being a uh, a composer of music every time you sit down to do a particular project whether it be for yourself or for a client you are writing something new and as a result it's a bit of adventure it's a there's a bit of a it's a bit of a i don't know what the word i'm looking for it's a bit of an adventure meaning you don't know what exactly you have to do what li libraries you might have to utilize yes as you become more experienced you're going to have your go-to libraries your go to frameworks but there's always going to be elements of the project that are going to require that you have to learn something new so try to just back away from that anxiety where you figure you think you have to know everything you have to go in there to have all those skills no you don't there's certain base knowledge that you have to have but after that there's always a learning process so i think the in terms of the amount of time and effort you put into learning stuff when you're first starting out it's 80 percent fundament fundamentals and then it starts to transi transition into small couple of projects so it's 80 percent small fundamentals small projects and then you shift it shifts boom and all of a sudden you go out there and you start doing freelance work maybe you get an entry-level job uh, maybe you do a couple of stages then it flips where all of a sudden 80 percent of your time is actually working on real projects and 20 percent of your time is learning new stuff and as you progress over the next three years i would say it slowly it keeps shifting where the amount of time you spend learning new stuff drops and the amount of time you spend actually writing production code increases and after three four years depending 
it's probably going to be like 98% of your time doing production work and 2% learning something new dedicated. Now, let me expand upon that. When you're doing production work, you're always learning something new. You're always, oh, I got to learn this quick library very quick. But what you find after a year, two years, et cetera, of being a developer, it just gets easier and easier and easier and easier with every iteration. I've written commercial software in eight, nine languages over the years. I think it's nine languages. I've lost count. And to learn a new language, it just takes me a, a day or so, maybe two, three days to become productive with it. Not because I'm a genius. It's just because I've done so much programming with so many languages. They're so similar in many respects that it's not difficult for me to jump into it. Yes, every language, every library has its own little things. But you're going to see a lot of similarities as well. As well. So it's... It's like playing an instrument. Once you learn how to play guitar, to play bass guitar, to play 12-string guitar, to play j jazz, or to play blues, it's super, super easy relative to when the first time you learn to play a stringed, in uh, a stringed instrument, right? All right, I hope that makes sense. Bye-bye.